right, this is my Damascus fighter. It has a beautiful layered Damascus pattern to it. Camel bone handle. It has a Damascus pommel. The base is Damascus. The guard is Damascus. Beautiful camel bone handle. I love those red spacers. This is a beautiful knife. This is the one I just killed a jug with. But um, I'm not much on Damascus. It really has to catch my eye in order to do that. And I, I really like this pattern. Um, the knife came kind of dull. It, I mean, it, it was... It had an edge on it, but it wasn't nothing to really um, brag about. So I reprofiled the edge on it, honed it a bit, brought it out with a steel rod. Now it's it's good and sharp now. But if you'll notice, you got the Damascus pattern, and you can still see the 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 satin finish under that. This is really cool. Usually you have that dark gray look. This doesn't have that. I just wanted to show you guys that model right there. And that is my Damascus Camel Bone Fighter. Basic leather sheath. Pretty neat stitching on the front. I think that's for aesthetics. Uh, single stitched, about a two inch wide belt loop with a retention strap. Nothing to really brag about, but the knife is pretty cool. Has about a 10 inch blade on it. Uh, about a five and a half inch false edge, which wouldn't take much to bring it out, but I don't I don't like to do that. So um, the choil's functional. Really good grip. Feels really good in the hand. There's a lot of meat and taters in this one. Hope everybody's having a safe day. You guys stay safe out there. This is Donovan from Mississippi. And uh, let me give a few shout outs. Arizona Bladesmith, Carl Ruger, Pete Morsey, Paul Meyer, Cowboy C. Bob, Captain Electra, Tony Castelloni, H-E-S-E, -E, Eric, Shredder, um, Scab, Megatron, you folks rock, man. I really appreciate y'all watching my videos and commenting. The Damascus Camel Bone Fighter. All right, guys, stay safe out there. More to come.